Hey there, so I've been getting some questions about the differences between some of the papers. And so I wanted to do my best to kind of show you the papers and then talk about them a little bit, just to kind of clarify. Um, there's a lot of new people here um, that have never tried these different things. So I know y'all are beginners. And so I wanted to give you a little bit of some clarification because I do have a couple of these on the supply list. So the first thing let's talk about is wax paper. And I do want to preface this by saying, I know in other countries that some of these things are called different things. So hopefully um, this will help a little bit. So wax paper, this is a very old um, box of wax paper. It's it's relatively thin, but it is has a thin coating of wax on both sides. So on both sides of the paper, there's a very, very thin coating of wax. In fact, when you touch it, it's really hard to tell. I mean, it feels a little bit waxy, but it's hard to say, oh yeah, there's wax on here. And if you run your fingernail on it, you can displace a little bit of it. But wax paper is primarily used in baking. Um, but because of the wax, it's not ideal for like putting in your oven. Um, this is not on the supply list, but I wanted to bring it up because I've been asked, well, how is that different than parchment paper? So parchment paper is different. Parchment paper is, it's like wax paper, but it's also um, moisture resistant. And it also is non-stick. I use this primarily when I bake. So baking, this is the perfect thing to use on your pan when you're baking. Now, this is also made of silicone. And so silicone um, allows it to be able to be used with heat. And in the bonus video where we're gonna be using an iron to add our painting onto a canvas panel, we use this on the top and then we iron over it. If you don't have access to parchment paper, I have used the deli paper in place of the parchment paper. It doesn't work as well, but you can use it. I think if you, in a pinch, don't have either, you could use a piece of computer paper but I like using this because it's it's um, it's made to be used with heat and then that way it protects your art underneath. So this looks similar to the wax paper. It's very crinkly, but it doesn't have the waxy finish on it. And so this is, like I said, used primarily for um, baking. It's used most of the time when you put it down on your baking sheet and you bake your cookies on it or whatnot. So that's the difference between wax paper and parchment paper. Now, what's the difference between deli paper and then your regular old traditional tissue paper? So let's talk a little bit about that. Now, deli paper is, it's very thin. Um, it's a little bit, I would say it's thinner, thinner than the wax paper, it's very comparable, but it's still pretty thin. And it's trans slightly translucent. It's kind of hard to see that on the video, but it is slightly translucent. It resists liquids. However, I have found a brand that I have used where I've used watercolor on it. So that was pretty cool. So you can actually paint it, you can put gesso on it, and it won't bleed through to the other side, which is really, really nice. I think that's more, um, when you talk about resistant tissue paper, not so much, but this is. And so it's really become very popular in mixed media and art because it allows you to be able to use it. Like, let's say you, you do lettering work or writing. You could then apply that onto your art or your journal page or your collage and it, disappears. The paper, once you add that medium, it, it just sort of blends into the background. So it really has become very popular um, among mixed media artists. So now the deli paper is stiffer than tissue paper, um, but it's still pliable. You know, you can still move it. It's still pliable, um, but it doesn't collapse or stick on itself when you add wet media to it, which is really nice. And it will stay pretty much just like this, it'll stay flat. And so this is what I prefer to use when I'm creating painty papers or collage papers where I want the bits to be translucent after I've 
um, painted them and they've dried and I want to add them to my artwork. You can even doodle on these um, on this on the deli paper as well. Um, so it pretty much just stays nice. It stays flat and then you can use it later um, in your work. Now they do come in boxes. Um, I get mine on Amazon. I've found these at Sam's, Costco, those big box kind of um, stores like that. Um, these were primarily used, um, I guess the best way to say it is for like um, wrapping sandwiches and food, donuts, things like that. They even have the smaller you know, papers. It, it, it's more like literally a deli paper used in a deli, wrapping sandwiches and things like that in it. And it's grease resistant, which is the other thing that makes it um, ideal for that purpose. Now, tissue paper, on the other hand, I think most of us are familiar with tissue paper. Tissue paper is used primarily in wrapping, like wrapping gifts and things like that. It can be used in art and collage, but generally it's tissue paper is very fragile um, it's much thinner, it's very delicate, much more so than the deli paper. And it can be difficult to paint on um, because it's not uh, resistant. So it, it will bleed through, it can get, it can, it can, you can end up having tears. It's a little bit harder to work with. Can you work with it? Sure. You can work with this similar to deli paper, but it's not as durable and strong. And so um, it does make it a little bit harder to work with. And again, with deli paper, you've got these nice sheets. You can fold them, you can stack them, you can, but with tissue paper, it's gonna be a little bit harder to do that because it tends to want to, um, when you paint it, buckle up on itself and it can tear. So I hope that helped kind of explain um, some of the differences. I did explain that the parchment paper is going to be used in the bonus video where we're using it with an iron to heat over the paper that we're going to be um, glue or, you know, adhering to our panel. Um, you could substitute the deli paper for that, but not tissue and certainly not wax paper because the wax paper you do not use with heat. And then I did mention that I used the deli paper here to do some painted papers with black acrylic, white acrylic coffee that we can then use in collage. And um, this is the better option, but you can use the tissue, the tissue paper. Just beware that it is more fragile and can tear and might be a little bit harder to work with. But I think initially that is a good way to start, especially if you're on a limited budget and you wanna get some other fun, fancy art supplies. I would stick with the tissue paper and just work really slowly with it and um, just start with that. So I hope that helped answer some questions about the differences between the papers. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you soon in the classroom.